Hey, how's it going? A while back, I made a video on two books that I bought. One I bought for EMT, and the other one I bought while I was in advanced EMT school. And I said that, that I was going to come back and make a few more on different books that I bought, or that I was going to buy books and read them and tell you what I think about them. You know, that way, you know, to see if it's worth it for you or not, because you might be looking for a book for different reasons. Some of you may be looking for a book to get through EMT school, and some may be looking for a book just to pass the NREMT after you're done with your EMT schooling. So today I am going over this book. I bought this book, well, it's really a pocket guide. I bought it when I was halfway through my EMT school. I went to Barnes & Noble and I was going through a whole bunch of books in the EMS section. They have like a little tiny section down in Escondido, that's where I was at at the time. And I came across this book. It doesn't look like much, but once you start going through it, it's so jam-packed with information. Don't let the size fool you. It, there is so much information on here, it's ridiculous. Now there's the information, there's basic medicine, so EMT stuff, but there's also stuff for advanced uh, EMTs and paramedics as well. So just to kind of show you briefly, right here in the very first page you have a few mnemonics, which, is things, which are all things you have to know regardless of your level. And then on the second page, you have more advanced stuff, so, so advanced airway management, uh, I think that's a king airway, no that's uh, the combi tube, that's the combi tube I believe, right there. Um, and if you look at the bottom, it actually has different sections. This is a book or a pocket guide that I actually used well after I was done with uh, EMT school. It actually came very handy, really cool, it's an awesome reference book. If you're in the field and you want to know what um, what the abbreviation is for a certain drug, uh, how to uh, measure burns, um, and it has even little anatomy, quick anatomy references for bones and just the body in general. Overall, I think it was worth it. At the time, I thought it was too expensive, but I bought it anyways just because I liked it um, after I went through it. It cost me about 20 bucks. That might not be expensive to you, but I've had it for over three years now. Even the things up here are broken, but I mean, the pages still flip pretty good, kind of. Oh, I thought it was broken. Oh yeah, that's where it broke right there. It broke right there a while ago. But it's, I mean, I still have it. I still use it every now and then. So I guess if you want to divide uh, 20 by 3, because I've had it for three years, I've paid roughly $7 per year. That's worth it to me now. But like I said, um... I'll find a link for Amazon so you can because I buy everything on Amazon now but I'll find a link for it on, and I'll leave it below in the description you can go on there look for some other reviews besides my review um, and see if you can find out more information about it besides that I mean that's all I had to have to say about it really like I said there's a lot of basic medicine which is what you need if you're an EMT if you're watching my channel most of you guys are EMTs um, but there's also a whole bunch of stuff on here if you're a paramedic or if you're going through paramedic school or if you want to be a paramedic, this is awesome. Um, like I said, when it comes out to being out in the field, this will save you every now and then. Because I know we all have phones, but what if your phone dies? That happened to me a lot of times and this little thing saved my butt. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out. Um, if you have any more questions about this little thing, uh, ask me. Um, I try to always respond back as soon as possible. See you later.